And we're back. A lot of people have been asking about this light right here. This is the Inno Pocket Spot LZR. What's the difference between this one and a regular Inno Pocket Spot? Will it master slave up with an Inno Pocket Spot? All those kind of cool questions. I'll answer in this video, plus I'll give you a cool living room light demo. But first, a quick breakdown. Yeah, it looks exactly like an Inno Pocket Spot at a glance, but there is a difference, and I'll show you that in a minute. It's the same base, same yoke, all that stuff. It has the 12.5 Cree LED inside, which is white. It has the color wheel that produces seven colors plus white. It has the gobo wheel, which produces seven gobos plus spot. It's very fast. It's IR remote compatible. It's Airstream IR compatible. Obviously, you can DMX it. All that fun stuff that you get in an old pocket spot, but here's the difference. Right here, there's a little hole, and that is where the laser comes out. It's, I think, a 35 milliwatt cluster laser in green, and it creates a really cool effect. So it alternates between the spot and the laser. Sometimes it does both. And here's a living room demo. Check it out. Now one question a lot of people have is, is this light compatible in master slave mode with the original Inno Pocket Spot? I couldn't get it to work. I hooked them all up and they didn't act right. They kind of moved together with a bit of a delay, but there was no light either coming out of the Inno Pocket Spot LZR or the Inno Pocket Spot. But that doesn't mean that you folks with DMX can't program a show where your Inno Pocket Spot LZR and your Inno Pocket Spot are working together and then once in a while, your NL Pocket Spot LZR can shoot the lasers off and create a really cool effect. But just the simple master slave, no. What I would recommend doing, if you like this effect, is go ahead and run your NL Pocket Spots that you have and use two of these or four of these or however many you want as an additional effect and alternate them because it is a different effect. And I think it's a pretty cool effect. It looks great in fog as you saw. It creates a great pattern on the wall cool little light. I hope you dig it. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and thanks for your patience. I know I've been gone for a while, but I was really sick. Practice and enjoy.